Oftentimes, there isn't a whole lot of time between when you get home and when dinner needs to be put on the table. Fortunately, there are plenty of great tasting beef recipes that really don't take that much time to prepare. And joining us in the studio to show us one of those easy weeknight meals is Chef Chinoa French from the Culinary Innovations team. Chinoa, thanks for coming to the show. And what are we cooking today? Thanks for having me back. Today we're going to do um, sautéed steaks with a wild mushroom um, side. Oh. So it's something really simple. Yeah. You can. It's a 10 to 15 minute recipe at Perfect. home. So as long as you need, you have your ingredients, you're good to go. We're going to start. We've got our pan warm. So I'm going to start get some stuff in here before we get too warm. Okay. Um, this is a cast iron skillet, and it's sure. one of my favorite in the house um, cooking method or cooking vessels. It yeah. holds its heat well. It's a very even cooking temperature. Okay. So add a little bit of olive oil in there. Yeah. And then we're going to add a little bit of garlic. It calls for two cloves, and one okay. one will start in the in the skillet, and then one will go for a rub. Never so, too much garlic. <laughs> never. Well, <laughs> there there's a point of no return on I that. But that's yeah. Cool. So you want to get your your pan to a nice temperature. Get your garlic in there. Yeah. Um, get that working, and then we're mm. going to add three cups of mushrooms. All now right. you can use whichever mushrooms you prefer. All right. Um, these were sliced whole button mushrooms mm -hmm. and baby bellas because that's okay. what we had. Um, if you have oyster mushrooms or shiitake mushrooms, gotcha. whatever you have, go ahead and use those. Yeah. Um, most important things with when you're cooking mushrooms is that you clean them real good, but don't clean them too far ahead. They are a, a vegetable that will absorb a lot of water. Oh, really? And so it's best to clean them right before you use them. I did not Cut off that. the bottom so you don't eat the stems. But um, give them a nice, give them a nice stir. You want to have your pan. Um, warm enough yep. that you get a nice brown on them. Okay. Um, mushrooms will leach a lot of water, and mm -hmm. so if you don't have your pan up high enough, then you'll end up kind of steaming them, and oh, they'll really? get soggy. So and you have th that's olive oil, you said. Yeah, or, that was a little yeah. bit of olive oil I to see. start in the pan. Gotcha. Um, you can add a little bit of butter if you want to. It's kind of really up to you. How long should I expect that to take? Then? You know, it kind of depends on your heat, but these these are a five to six minute type process if okay. you like your mushrooms. More well done. You cook them a little bit longer, sure. um, but you de definitely want a brown, um, nice brown color on them. Very good. So while these are working, we're going to move yeah. over and and work on our steak here. The most important part. Oh. This would be a little bit of extra garlic, and I've started with our, our rub, which okay. is thyme. Yep. And remember, you can use fresh thyme or you can use um, a dried thyme. Sure. You need to adjust your seasoning if you're using dry. You need a little bit more. Okay. And remember, when you're pulling thyme, you pull it backwards right. off the stem. You've told us that. So before. we show you that. Yeah. And then there's just a little bit of chopped garlic in here. Okay. Real simple. And, and and what kind of steaks are we working with there? Yeah. So this might be a, a more of an unusual cut for some mm -hmm. in the retail. It's kind of slowly moving into the retail case. Okay. This is um, your sirloin cap. Oh. Or in the food service, it's called a culotte steak. Hmm. Um, and like I said, some people are roasting the, the cap whole, okay. or they've cut them into steaks, steaks. now. Yeah, these are these are great steak. They have a yeah. a nice um, cap on them, which gives you some good flavoring, Absolutely. and then you can cut that off the table. That's great um, if you can't find culotte steaks at the retail case, sirloin, sirloin, exactly. So it all comes from the same family. So I'm gonna put these on real quick. Um, you want to make sure that you get a nice rub. You bet. Both sides. You're gonna season your steaks real good. Um, kind of press it all in there, yep. flip them over, do the same thing. Obviously, you're using fresh herbs, sure. so they you don't want too many, or they'll kind of sear in the pan if you don't have a right okay. temperature. Um, mm. And they're better usually in a skillet than they are outside. We're also going to throw on just a touch of salt and salt pepper. And pepper, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to add a touch of salt and pepper oh, to yeah. my mushrooms. Very good. So I like my mushrooms not overly cooked. Okay. Kind of in that in between stage. So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull these mushrooms out of this pan, ah. and we're going to cook the steaks right here oh, in the right skillet. In the pan. So Perfect. Yeah. it's a one one skillet meal. Um, like I said, this burner is on low, yeah. and so I got it hot, and it'll hold that heat for you Very and good. give you a nice sear. So on there. Both fast and few dishes. Those yes. are my kind of meals. Yeah. So we're going to get rid of oh, these it mushrooms. Smells great. Yeah, I think it, you know, I mean, so many people think that you have to prepare and plan for a beef dish, but, you know, like you're showing us, I mean, as long as you're going to grill something or put something in a skillet like this, this can be super fast. Yeah. It's that nice if you do a little bit of planning, even if it's on the drive home. Sure. Like what, what steaks or pop into the grocery store and get yeah. a couple of key ingredients. You're good to go. You're ready to All right, so we'll let those set. Mm. Same kind of thing you do at home. Just Smells let great. them season in. I'm going to add just a touch more of olive oil. The other trick with cast iron is you never use soap in these pans. That's kind oh, really? of the, they talk about seasoning your pan and then it, it keeps building. Okay. So 
Um, want to make sure we have a little bit of, of olive oil in there so they don't stick. Gotcha. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and take these and just put it in you know, the pan. I'll be honest, I, I, most of my steaks go on the grill. So, so what are some, if you're going to do them in a skillet like this on the stove, what are some tips? Um, again, it, it's similar, very similar to grilling. We call this pan broiling. Yeah. Um, and we have all the guidelines on beef and to dinner if that's what you're looking for. Perfect. But you want to start with a nice medium heat pan. Yeah. You want enough heat that it's going to give a sear to the outside and not turn gray. So mm -hmm. if you have your heat too low, um, you're going to kind of steam and get not the Maillard reaction that we're looking for. Okay. But if you're too high, same with on the grill, you're going to burn the outside. Right. And be raw on the inside. So I let this sit. Like I said, these are about an eight to eleven minute steak. Okay. So you let them work um, half the time yep. and flip them once. Flip them over. And then, like I said, they'll go directly. And as you can see, I don't know if we're quite there yet, but it's working on getting that nice sure. sear Looks on great. there. And that's what you want is that good sear on the pan. And cast irons are great for that. That's great. And so, when we're done, yeah, this is the finished product. A simple thing. We just threw an ear of corn on that, but you can pick whatever your favorite vegetable is to, to have a great quick night meal. Looks absolutely delicious. Thank you so, uh, so much uh, for bringing us another great recipe. And if you'd like to have more details on this recipe or any others, just go to our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.